Hello and welcome to today's content of new players that are looking to join or play Final Fantasy Brave Exvius War of the Visions and are looking for kind of like a guide or opening statement because it might feel like it's a lot to like absorb or learn how to play this game and it is but if you take your time to it you can definitely get used to it and just get grinding or playing the game as soon as possible. So we're going to move on to the first topic is how do you want to play this game? Do you want to be a casual player that just collects units and does, um, you don't really do too much hard content after until like a long period of time? Do you want to be semi-competitive? Do you want to join a guild? Um, you know, do you want to do guild wars, arena, PvP, and you want to be like um, a strong player, or do you want to be like super hardcore? Um, this is, these are all things to consider when you want to start playing this game because it heavily dictates how you want your account or should have your account to develop so that you can either become very successful at playing the game or enjoy as much content as you can. So we move on to the topic of the free to play minnow, dolphin, whale or kraken situation. Um, obviously if you pay money in the game you definitely get a lot more benefits. There are um, banners and like polling for uh, that benefits more paid users. However, free to play players uh, due to how generous the amount of uh, paid uh not paid but um currency in-game currency you can get is definitely possible for free-to-play players to be um competitive however you will have to be more disciplined and um you would have to either chase the meta or counter the meta depending on your playstyle. if you're a casual player however as i mentioned before um it doesn't really matter if you pay or not you can definitely try to go for units if you are free to play and you want to play casually and you only want units you want to get you will have to I guess kind of get lucky for all your pulls um, or if you don't um, it will be hard to make your characters very strong without um, investing a lot of the currency in them. Obviously this is different for pay to, pay to play players because they get a lot more benefits. For example the more um, this number right here 124120 one, which is 124,120 this is how much paid Vizior I need to purchase with my money to get the Royal Rank 11. World rank gives you benefits based on what level it is and not all of them are really um, like super useful but there are a little bit a few benefits that feel like um, in the long run it'll feel nice but they are not like super important to have. Um, even for free to play players you can still gain points over time even though it will be very slow it is still possible. So you're probably thinking what exactly do you do or like play this game? Um, I'll have to say that a majority of like maybe 95% of the game is on auto but there are a few manual content in the game or you could do manual if you wish to in um, a lot of the content. For example, um, story mode, the campaign, you could do all of it on auto or you could do all of it on manual as well. It depends up to your playstyle. Um, we go to the far planes however and it's kind of the same thing. Almost all of this is all autoable to an extent and I say to an extent such as like playing multiplayer. Um, I could do this as an example. I'll click multiplayer. I'll go to the recent activity. I'll join. I'll join a room real quick. Join a room. I'll just click the first room. No, okay, that one's full. And boom. So I joined their room. Everyone's setting up, and I just click ready. Here is the part where I have to say that it is not 100% audible unless you use like a third-party system or using an emulator or you have like an auto clicker. Because every time um, you do a multi run, you're gonna have to basically re ready up every time because the game does not have it. You're gonna have to be doing it manually. I believe this is so that you can't really. I guess Gumi does not really want you to automate your game like third, third parties. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I can't really say much. I would just assume that they are lazy or just don't want you to allow autoing multi 100% of the time. Um, but for example, um, Darkness I'll be showing this in just one run, so I can show you an example. This is on auto right now, and we're on 2x speed. Um, for a majority of players, you'll have 1.5x. However, once you join a room, or you yourself have um, Royal Rank 8, you can get the 2 times speed, which is it does feel much faster. And as you can see, I'm playing on auto completely, so I'm not even pressing anything, I'm not touching anything. It is completely doing it on its own. Just to show that you can do manual, I will turn off auto so that when it comes to my turn, I'll be controlling my character. 
for multiplayer specifically and like other like time stuff that if you do it with other players there is a time limit to what you can do this is so that people can't really like soft lock your games and stuff if they're like afk you still can basically play the game because um it'll skip your turn over if you take too long so if you see here it's my turn i have 10 seconds but if i move i gain a little bit more time if i open up my ability thing i get more time so they do give you more time if you do play manual however it's Basically, like I said, it's your choice. If you want to play the game on manual, you can. However, I would, in this situation, just prefer to play on auto. And here we go. This player it looks to be AFK or he wants to play on manual. So yeah. It all depends on everyone's preference, pretty much. It depends on how you want to play the game or um, how easy you want to play the game as well. Because if you just want to auto, that's fine. Uh, a lot of people auto and do it for auto because you're busy in life or you want to do something else. Auto is the way to go. And I, while I do say that, I did mention that unfortunately, when this room ends, you're going to have to ready up manually again or have like an auto clicker or a macro or something set up for that. I'm not going to really have a guide for that because that's not something I should be advertising, but it is an option for people who want to look into it. So as you can see, we're coming to the end soon of this this room. They're just missing. This guy's gonna kill this. Oh no, he's using the limit room. It can take a long time, but it's alright. Looks like... Um, you can see that there's a lot of effects in the game that is showing all the um, attacks and abilities. There is, there are options to turn that off if you just want to just like as quick as possible. Like maybe you don't care too much for it and you just want to get the run done. Some people don't. Some people like watching it. Some people just want to go for speed. It depends on you, on you. But yeah. So basically I haven't done this. This is the first time I get it. I get a little bit more Vizior. Shows the first time completion. And then it shows like your gill and exp that you get from the run go next acquired items from the run and then we go return so from here it's gonna go back up here to the the room lobby and then you can ready up or leave and since this is just an example i'm just gonna leave most other people would either stay there and keep readying up and you keep going for the runs but i'm not it's just to show for an example and we didn't finish showing all the far planes so i'll show a little bit more so events are gonna be most of the timed event stuff will be inside. Well, not timed event. Yeah, no timed events. So there's gonna be like stuff like secret brick rewards, their event quests, etc. The thing we did just now in the multi room, you could do it solo as well, but you have to use two times the amount of energy, as well as using um, you get only one times the rewards. If you do multiplayer, you use half the amount of energy needed. If you uh, if um, the room host only spends energy as well as you get two times the rewards so it's definitely very beneficial to do multi with like your friends your guild or other people you might know even strangers are fine as long as you can get the run done so yeah that's this is mostly for the far planes basically is doing the event quests here there are raids our last raid we had was uh the golem raid uh our next upcoming raid should be diabolos i am not 100 percent sure on that but um, I can't really show an example of raids right here. There are definitely videos out there that show the raid themselves of gameplay. Um, if you're interested in that, you can look over there. Most of raids can either be manual content or auto content. For most players, autoing raids are going to be very hard unless you have a developed account. It's, you're going to be playing manual on it until you can be autoing, basically. Porcelain Tower is pretty much the number one, in my opinion, the manual content. The reason why is that as you go up the floors in Porcelain Tower for rewards, um, it consistently gets harder so that um, you need like special special setups, you need more units, you need to like kind of think outside of the box, but the rewards are definitely worth it if you get up there. Um, that is the most, in my opinion, manual content. You can auto it, it does take a lot more time, but it is possible. The Beast Den is something that you do for your espers, which I will explain in another video what espers are and how how to make them like strong etc but this is what you would also do if you're um basically going to try and power up your espers and for example i'll show a really quick one i'll do let's see i guess i'll do tonberry 
I'm not gonna look at their mission rewards because I'm just trying to use this as an example and do it really fast. I'm restoring energy because it costs 32 and we'll just go auto, yes. So this is mostly just an example to show you what the beast then is. Um, you can manual this as well, but as I said, once you have more quote unquote developed um, account, which I would argue mine is pretty good, you can start basically just autoing a lot more things and it kind of makes your life easier if you just want to auto or save time, which is something I'm doing because I don't want to make this video for too, uh, like way too long. It's mostly just to like expose people or new players to what content they might be seeing. Um, as long as this looks like something you might enjoy, there are such things as tuning the auto AI so that it plays more to the style you want or the abilities you want them to use. And I'll be doing that also in a different video because the main topic of this video is just trying to get exposures to what content you could be expecting. After the mission done, you get EXP and JP. We do not want to go again, we want to complete and leave. So this is what I'm showing you is pretty much a lot of the PVE content, if not most of the PvP con PVE content. Keep going back. And then we have guilds, which ties a little bit into both PvP and the PvE aspect. So basically, if you go to guild quests, if you're in a guild, you can start doing guild quests that can basically level up this statue which I will also explain in a different video but these are going to be PVE related so that you're going to be fighting monsters or different units and you get uh, rewards based off, it, off on it and you get EXP for your tower which is nice. For example though there is something called guild war for guild battles and this increases your guild's ranking and you get more rewards for guild medals etc and as you can see here this is what happens. Um, you can fight other players you can see their setups and such so like because I fought this guy and I beat him up, you can see what their setup is, their espers, their vision cards, their equipment, you can see what they do basically. And as you can see, 87-87, I don't want to get too much into Guild War details but we've lost because of the techs remaining unfortunately because we, we didn't attack as efficiently but that's fine, that's fine, everything's good in Love and War. Since we talked about the PvP portion of Guild Wars, I, ha I have to show you the other part of the PvP aspect of the game, which is going to be the arena and class match. So basically for the arena, um, there's going to be a map every season, and then you're going to have like 5 tries a day. Um, if you have refills, you can obviously use those, and just for example, like if you want to hit this team, you can hold them, look at their setup. I'm not going to look at it just because we're trying to do it for time's sake. We're going to close it. We're going to be like, oh okay, uh, we want to hit this team. This is the arena specifically is going to be auto versus auto and for example I'll be showing you what exactly happens. Um, there's going to be placements on the map for your units and then you have to kind of basically tune your auto AI so it works as how you want it to go. Hopefully I win this so I don't lose but for example's sake I'll be showing you what I mean. So since it was the snowy mountain map it has the missile attack up. Um, missile attacks will definitely benefit here more uh, better in terms of damage so we'll see what happens. This is also not my arena team, this is actually a different team that I had set up, but I hope it goes alright. We'll see how it goes. As you can see, it's just playing out mostly. Venera is going. Boom, split shot. Winter's reward. Level 4 Aeroga. So it looks like it's gonna be a win. Wow, that did a lot of damage. I don't know why his uh, Dwayne has no defenses. Cool. And then Victor should kill King. Done. Alright, so that's how I went for that. You can also skip as you saw at the top right if you don't want to watch it. I usually do like watching mine because I like to kind of analyze how it goes, but that's just how it is. Some people might not care, they just want to get it over with. You can click skip and there's no problem doing that, honestly. Sometimes people don't have time or just want to get it done as quick as possible. For the other portion of PvP is going to be in a match battle. This is mostly referred to as live PvP or class match. So free matches are basically the same thing um, as arena. You can do auto if you want, however you can do manual as well. Similar to class match just like free match, you can do auto or manual if you want. Most of the hardcore players or like the top players in class match will be doing it on manual because 
if you want to min-max to the, the highest degree, doing it on manual is the most efficient way. Um, but for those examples, class match you can only do a few times a day. Um, there's also only like certain times you can do it due to seasons, but the rewards are definitely make it worth it. If you're interested in PvP, you should definitely take like a look at this in the future. And with that, we come down to basically the game's currency. So as you can see here, Gil is something that you use in the game. Vizior is the game's currency for like banners, poles, etc. For example, I'll go to the summon page just to show you. Come on, load. Okay, so here we are. So since it's, right now it's the collaboration Final Fantasy X with uh, Titus and Yuna, they have their banners here. As you can see, 2000 Vizior for a 10x summon. Basically, all I have to say is that War of the Vision gives you a lot of free currency for how much you play. They're very generous. However, they also are not like they're giving everything out for free, period. Like there's definitely for free to play users, there has to be a certain level of discipline. As I said earlier, um, you cannot be pulling for everything you want unless you are OK with those units to be very far behind in their usage in terms of how strong they are. Which, if you're a casual player, or if you want to just collect units, which is fine. Like, similar for me, there are some units that I pulled, but I never really built them. But because I pay money to play, basically, I definitely have more opportunities than others. So free to play do not have that as much. So it looks like I have a lot of characters here. However, if we go down, there are a few characters I do not have anything for either. And they're just here and rotting away on the bench, unfortunately. But... Yeah, basically it depends entirely on how you want to play the game. The game does give you a plenty full amount of uh, in-game currency for pulls. So it's up to your digression on how much you want to do pulls or how much you value the free currency they give you in the game. While we're on the topic of focusing on uh, the Vizior, which is what I'll be referring to as the currency, for all players, you should be focusing um, on the, uh, the first three units that you want to be building up into a team. And I say the first three because those are the biggest, that is the normal number for most content in this game. For example, uh, multiplayer, you, you would only be using one unit if you're joining others. However, if you're in arena, guild battle, uh, live PVP, all those, you are down limited to three slots, basically. So from here, it's just an example uh, build that I was just testing. Basically, you want to have three units that you want to focus on and then uh, Esper for each and then vision cards for each. I'll be explaining in different videos um, how to make your units, vision cards, team comps, everything stronger. But this is just an example to show new players basically what to expect or the limitations of what you should be doing. And so for that, I hope this video kind of helps you if you want to play this game or not, or if you're like interested, I'll be releasing more quote unquote beginner videos out so that it can help players there who are lost or have questions. But yeah, if you have any questions, uh, don't, don't, uh, like, don't worry about it. Just ask in uh, the comments. I'll definitely try to answer if possible. Um, if it's in another video, I'll also say to like, uh, I'll hold off on your content. It should be in another video. So I won't have to like explain like 500 times, but yeah, asking questions is the best way to get around in this game. Joining a Discord and a guild is also another great thing. But yeah, I guess since we're at the end of the video, until the next one, peace out.